Hello guys, welcome to Master G Programming Video Tutorials. So this is the C++ tutorial number 31. In this tutorial, I will teach you about second part of the operator overloading. What does this operator overloading? I have told you in our uh, last video. Operator overloading is we are overloading the function that basically performed by that particular operator and that operator will perform in another function. In this video, I will teach you how to overload a input and output operators of a program. If you can see this less than less than sign, we will overload this less than sign whenever we will use less than sign double time then it will call that particular operator overloading function and all the steps that are being followed in that particular function will be performed so i will teach you we will directly starting with the programming part you can see it here i have created a class and constructor i have created a constructor publicly an empty constructor and a constructor with two arguments double and integer type which holds the value of p and q and initialize it with r and q so we are started. so mm, the main thing we have to do is the directly creating a operator overloading function to create an operator overloading function I am creating a friend function if you remember that friend function is the function which can access the values of private type also and you know that in C++ if you do not assign any access modifier to any arguments or variables it will automatically goes to private so this double and int goes directly to private so I have to use friend function here so friend function then o stream I have used the keyword o stream o stream for output operators as I am overloading this output less than less than if you know that we are using output as the overloading part so we have to use o stream as a name of a function we can say that then the keyword that we will be uh, we have used in the last video operator then the operator which has to be overloaded then the argument that you have to pass in that i am passing an output argument that is the object of the o stream class and now the reason is that you can use a output keyword instead of c out word so this is the use of this output ob uh, object that I have been referred from the class OStream. And another, another argument is cons of constant type. And it is also an object but of price class. That is the same class that I have been writing here. Then I am using output keyword instead of cout because I have replaced that keyword I have overloaded that keyword then less than less than sign that we usually use that then item code is w dot code we will be using this through the object that I have been passed in the argument if we have to use the code key uh, code variable from the constructor you have to call through the class object so I have called through the class object to change the line then cost of the item will be in P so to access that P we have to use the object W so we will print W dot P then that's all we have completed the friend function for the output stream part now I will be creating the input stream friend function so to input a stream friend function before that you have to return the output the output is being stored in the output keyword itself so we will be returning that output and it will goes to the friend function o stream that is the data type of that particular function 
then to define the input stream we, we can copy all this part and we will be changing little things in that and we will be done with that program part so we will copy this whole part friend i stream instead of o stream you can write i stream so then for overloading the greater than greater than sign we have to use that particular sign here and that will be overloaded and here i am creating an object input so you can use input instead of cn then again i am creating an object of price class and we will be accessing the arguments that have been passed in constructor price p and code through that w object then the statement for the user c out enter item code then its price so what we will be doing here is that we will take the input from the user through the friend function i stream and then we will print that all the input that i have been given through the o stream friend function so this we will be doing in this input is the keyword that i have been used instead of cn then w dot code will access the code from the constructor part and p similarly through the constructor part then return the input input will be returned to the i stream part now the main part is from the main function we will be creating an object p1 then for taking the input from the user of q and r value we will be directly taking a cn to the p1 object now what will be happen here as soon as we will call cn greater than greater than it automatically calls the i stream function then it will initialize that particular q and r value to this w object then it will ask that particular value code and p so that it can be stored in p and code itself in the price class or constructor we can see. then when all the input part is done we goes to the output statement as soon as we give the output to the p1 object it calls the friend function of the o stream and what it will do is that it will take the value from constructor q and r and use that code and r p value from that constructor and return the output to back to the c out part that is the output stream in the main function so that's all from the programming part now you can run it there is no error enter the item code then its price 1234 45.6 it is the price and here is the output so i have done all this thing to overload the input and output streams as well as how it will work i have taught you this also so this is the operator overloading from the c++ so thank you stay tuned with master g for other important topics of c++ programming